What's going on guys, it's Cobbins Vlogs back with another video. Today we'll be reviewing the Northampton Town win in the Leeson.com trophy against uh, Arsenal. It was a 1-0 draw with Cobbins winning 4-3 on penalties, which somehow I predicted. I can see us drawing 1-0 uh, and Northampton Town winning 4-3 uh, on pens. Really don't know how I predicted that, but you know, I'm a genius. Um, so let's go on to the match review. So if we look into the match, um, it was a... Uh, uh, you know, it was a very okay performance. Um, you know, they still need for improvements. Um, you know, when you saw an Arsenal lineup of youngsters, they have quick pace. Um, there was loads of times Bunny got skinned. Uh, they had a lot more pace than the Cobblers, uh, but we had a lot more composure about us. Um, the way we played was okay. Um, still, again, like I said, room for improvement. Um, you know, the goals. You know, Hoskins's goal was, you know, top great finish with Dane Oliver knocking it down, and Hoskins, you know, great finish. Their goals, sloppy defending, but you know when they the ball. Um, but better, you know, we got the goal. Um, and of course, it went to pens, and then of course Charlie Good misses his pen. Um, that's about it, you know. Save from Fisher on his debut. I have to say, it was you know very very good. Um, and you know, it was a game which you know for only a pound for to go leasing dot com trophy, it was a right um, good support. Uh, Two thousand five hundred, uh, about six hundred Arsenal fans. Well, Arsenal fans, you know, that's not really Arsenal fans. It's Cobbers fans. Cobb, no, for the Hampton people who support Arsenal. Um, but it was really good, interesting. Um, sorry, it was really interesting watching the Arsenal under twenty ones. Uh, how quick they are. Um, because they got a player sent off, but. Um, it was obviously a red, um, but you know, a good, very good performance. Of course, now on to Twitter reaction. Of course, if you want to be used, hashtag NTFC. Uh, Danny Brothers on Twitter are uh, hereby putting a motion to pro <laughs> program the Cobbers season until we get our act again. It could be a while. Um, you know, it was it was better performance, but of course, you know, realistically, we weren't as amazing um, as the prospect of how good we can be. Um, you know, fans aren't happy with it. Um, you know, it needs to change. Uh, we guess we did win just on penalties, but um, you know, it was an okay. You know, in my opinion, we played okay. You know, we played more than good. Um, we were talented. The most of us played. Re the most of the players, sorry, played really, really well. Um, because we'll look at that in the player ratings. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is. You know, fans have their own opinions. Uh, another one said. Um, Better, but still needs improvement. Of course, Hoskins class, which he was. He was fantastic. Sam Hoskins, uh, great, great player. Uh, he was against Arsenal. Um, he, of course, got the goal, but he was kept running, kept driving in, kept quick, uh, drawing fouls, getting corners. Um, he drew the foul to get the player sent off. Hoskins was very, very good. Uh, of course, another one said Hoskins will be bad next game. Um, hopefully not. Um, you know, Keith Carr said <clears throat> in his interview that he's working hard uh, on his finishing with the Cobbler striker, Sam Hoskins. Uh, hopefully that he can work on that, but of course he's working on that with a few other strikers because, you know, strikers aren't scoring yet, are they? Because um, Andy Williams is the only striker to score uh, and we spent all that money on Harry Smith and, you know, he wasn't, you know, as great he was. Um, you know, but, um, you know, it's a mixed opinion, you know, from the fans because, you know, a Twitter reaction, of course, it's a check and train, not many people went, but again, some people don't care about it. You know, the main thing is most on Twitter, oh, of course, it's about the uh, Berry incident, um, it's really sad uh, for all football fans. Um, and all, uh, another thing is, um, of course, transfer window is still open for a few days. People are looking at strikers, uh, bringing in another striker, of course, losing Julian Marias. Um, Billy Ward, of course, also is available for transfer, which means we could lose him. Um, so I feel we could sign number nine. Yeah, people are saying about um, James Hansen, Danny Rose. You know, of course, they're too good for us, but that's the sort of striker you want. Um, but even, you know, I know it sounds bad, but Barry, they've gone now. They've probably got number nine. We could easily come and snatch in. But, um, yeah, of course, if you want to be using the Twitter reaction uh, for Plymouth, make sure you hashtag NTFC. Uh, of course, Matt will be doing the Plymouth reaction. Um, so, hopefully, you can get the video. On to now match ratings. Um, match ratings, of course, by me. Uh, starting off with Fisher and Girl. I gave him a seven, solid seven, save a penalty. Um, the a shootout, uh, but overall it was class, so the goal wasn't his fault, um, so well done for him. Uh, right back, Sean McWilliams, again, a 7, uh, solid, uh, up and down the pitch, again, uh, comfortable. You know, one thing, I know I'm a Cobbers fan, but I don't get um, why no one's looking at Sean McWilliams and going, let's bring him in. You know, that's my opinion, I think he's a top player. Uh, Charlie Good, again, six and a half. again, and Tom might as well say, both of them got sixes, six and a half, because they just both were just... Stagnant, bog standard, you know, nothing, none of them did exceptionally well, but none of them did poor. They've just, you know, done the job. Bernie gave a five because he was awful. Um, 
personally, in my opinion, the, the, the goal was his fault. Um, the amount of time Smith Rowe on the wing absolutely burned him. Um, it was a bit of a joke. Um, and if they're better on their day, they could have got a few goals from it. Um, but, you know, Bunny was available for transfer, so it might be in his head, you know. Uh, Ryan Watson, they gave the six again. I didn't really know it's on the pitch, but he get he, he get the ball, pushed it wide. That's what I like. Uh, again, he just done his job, really. Uh, Pollock, I gave a five because he got substituted. He got given the chance today. Um, didn't take this opportunity at all. Um, I just, you know, he, he, was, he wasn't very good. Uh, Billy Waters, I gave a seven and a half. Um, I think he was fantastic. He got the ball, you know, a bit of pace, get the ball forward. Always looking to attack, you know. Uh, and that's what I like about Billy Waters. Um, I think if he if he goes, it'll be a massive miss because I always think Billy has that potential, has that ability. He just needs that confidence. And if Billy can get that confidence, he'll be a good player, you know. Uh, and hopefully we can get that confidence out of him in the course of coming season because I really do think he'll be a good player if Keith Carl has faith in him. Um, Matty Warburton gave a six because he got substituted as well, but again, he wasn't as well as he was uh, against, you know, against what likes of Swansea. Um, but again, Matty Warburton, you know, he's on league player, so adapt him. Um, Sam Hoskins, eight, um, top player. Uh, he was, he was fantastic. Great goal. Uh, the way he played, though, scored his penalty, fair play to him. Um, but way different than Hoskins that day. Wow, he was, he was good. Uh, Harry Smith, I gave it a four. I, I generally don't know what's going on with him. He, you know, he's a donkey. <laughs> you know, he gets the ball and he doesn't even move for it. He just stands there. He's supposed to be six foot six. Nicky Adams, get that ball into his head. That's what I thought all season. So far, he's just not doing it for me. He's not caring it. For Dane Oliver or Williams, start them. Billy Waters, getting a new number nine or lonely Premier League young striker. Bit, a bit of pace, you know, that will do me. Subs, uh, I gave Chris Lyons a six, came on, got the ball, got moving forward, that kind of thing. Tried a few passes, didn't work out for him, so again, just a bog standard midfielder. Uh, for Dane Oliver, I gave a solid six as well, got the assist. Um, but he just he changed, he changed it. He came on for Smith and he just changed the game. You know, he went for the headers, made an impact, made like the worry, you know, so well done for Dane Oliver. And Williams, I didn't give him rating because he didn't have enough time. But um, thank you guys for watching. Um, of course, on Saturday, is uh, Northampton Town taking off Plymouth Argyle. Uh, Matt, of course, will be doing that video, and after we'll be doing a monthly review of the month. <laughs> um, not very good, of course. Um, but no, uh, Matt will be, of course, doing the Plymouth game. Um, I hope you enjoyed these last few videos I've been doing. Um, you know, me and Matt are really thankful for the support. Um, you know, of course, the Checker Trade, no Checker Trade, Leasing.com trophy uh, against Peterborough on a next Tuesday night, so I should be going to that. Um, so make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Comment your score predictions. Uh, like I got mine right, so let's see if any of you get yours right. So hopefully you do. Thank you. See you later.